Hi, it's Alex Popovich and welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about Notion application and how to use it for life management system organization or your life planner. First, to be able to do this, you have to have a system or hierarchy in place of how to do this. As you can see, this is my demo page for my YouTube account, but it's pretty much very similar of how I've set up my um, Notion. First of all, you have to look at yourself and I'd recommend that you take half a day or a whole day and look at your life, look at your guiding principles, look at who you are and who you want to be. What is your purpose? Why? What do you want to do? Because this will guide how you're going to do the rest of the setup, rest of your life management. To show this in a picture, this is my um, original picture when I planned this. So this is me in the, as a person, or you can use yourself as a person. And here are the three biggest areas of your life that are important. And I've chosen these three, but you can choose whatever you want to. Most of us have a work area that we want to look at. I've chosen a health or prioritize of my health area because that impacts both my work and my personal stuff. And uh, there is a personal area. And out of all those three areas, you end up setting your goals. Um, what you wanted to do, for example, for your work, it might be uh, what would you like to achieve, for example, a promotion or uh, how many papers you'd go to publish or would you want to publish a book or anything like that. For your health, it might be to eat healthy or to run a marathon or anything like it. Uh, what your personal goals are, uh, like learning goals or family goals, uh, relationship goals, spiritual goals, or anything like that. Now, these goals can um, then either be divided into projects. So some goals are really easy to divide into projects. You can do, for example, work one, promotion. What do I need to do for a promotion? So your project is... Um, to be eligible for a promotion at work. Um, now, part of this project is then divided into tasks. Who do I need to talk to, for example, is one task um, to uh, figure out what is needed for a promotion. Uh, which connections do I have to establish? Which part or work topics do I need to do? Do I need to have some sort of outside of the uh, work area? So for um, doctors often is I want to become a surgeon and that's my goal. So my project, first project would be how to get onto a surgical training scheme um, that's applicable for me, for example, general surgical training scheme. So the first project was that goal would be getting on a surgical uh, training scheme. So you go and have a look at uh, um, the website, what it says, uh, what do I need to do, and then those things become tasks. Uh, if you choose one for a health, is for example running a marathon. So you have to, uh, uh, if that's your goal, you have to be basically a project is to train yourself to be able to run that marathon. You can't just decide one day and just go. And then those ability to run a marathon might be able to be divided into tasks. So how quickly you're going to progress, what do you need to do to prevent injuries. But some health goals might not be that suitable for a, for a project, for example. So if you just want to prevent injuries, um, that sometimes it's much harder to be a project it's more likely to be a routine that you will need to do. So for me to prevent injuries at work, um, I need to do some stretching or some yoga and that's my routine. It's five days a week um, because I know that on the weekends I struggle doing this. Uh, the next part of uh, this uh, preventing injuries would be uh, getting some cardio exercise. Um, 
and what that cardio exercise is. I don't want to run a marathon. I just want to be um, a little bit fit. Uh, and the other goal to prevent is injuries for me would be to use uh, some uh, weight strengthening exercises to strengthen my upper body, to strengthen my lower body, to prevent injuries long term. Uh, personal goals might be, for example, how many times do I want to see my family? So that one uh, is a goal. I can say uh, how many times I want to catch up with my family each year and plan these things um, what do I need to do for my relationships? Do I need to go half and do I want to go out? And that, that can be in the projects that are tasks or even as a part of the routine. And then the next step is how often you're going to monitor your progress because it's useless having these goals if you're not going to monitor your progress. So you often have a daily progress, you have a weekly progress, you have a monthly and a yearly. The yearly for me, it's more how much I've achieved in the last year. Um, am I on a target towards my really long-term goals, like, for example, a retirement goal uh, or anything like that? Uh, but mostly it's about a boost uh, of how much I've actually managed to do this year and how my plans have pro progressed. Monthly ones are really great for projects, so, so longer projects. So this way, for example, is you can see, oh, I'm behind in doing these YouTube videos. How many more videos do I need to do to catch up? How long it's going to take me to catch up? Weekly is mostly for a tasks and routines. Am I being set up for the routines? Is it too much, too little? Uh, for the time management so I don't get too uh, tired? Uh, am I getting enough rest? Um, and so this is my kind of a plan overview. I might have then something like a mind map so I can see and map these things in the areas. And then you go to your life areas and see what your uh, life areas are, what your goals are, and then you divide it into projects, your actions or your tasks, habits and routines. And for me, the dashboard is basically a system of a daily management, uh, just a quick way to access things. It's just an extra page that makes it a bit easier. Um, these are my databases that I have that I can connect to monitor these things. I hope you have found this video useful. For any comments, please write them below and I will answer them. If not within a few days, then definitely within a week. To receive notifications straight into the inbox so you don't miss any of these videos when you like them, please subscribe to the button below. Bye for now.